everyone. Welcome to Let's Play, the podcast where the games are real, but the points don't matter. Uh, joining us this week, as, o- as always, Sorg. How you doing this week? I'm doing fine, sir. Got some video games in on my phone over the weekend while I was traveling. Uh, I'm ready to get geeky and, and, and gaming, and I don't know what show it is anymore. <laughs> well, it's Let's Play. Oh, so yes. That's the, one, that's the second one that you record. Oh, I okay. see. <laughs> uh, Riz, how you doing this week? Wee! <laughs> that is the correct answer. I guess that's happy. Um, Chachi, what are you doing over there? I just made an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a hard drive. <laughs> yeah, he's, he found some technology. I'm like, oh, hey, whatever you're going to you know, take home and do something constructive with. Uh, he, he was outside with a hammer. Early. I had to loosen the screws. Yeah, it, with a hammer. Takes, all it takes loosen is loosen the screws. What you do, what you do is you take the screw screws. tip, yeah, and you put it in the screw and you tap it a couple times with the hammer. I think it's a tip for a different show. And what you do, yeah. what that does is it loosens the torque on the screw mm-hmm. and allows you to uh, take the screw out. Anyhow, yes, DIY I am here. Tips from Chachi. <laughs> DIY with the Chachi Meister. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, time for that segment we always do at the beginning of the show what have you played this week sword sword what have you played oh uh yeah mostly iphone games um (laughs) play a little bit of injustice play a little bit of angry birds friends uh, a little bit of carmageddon uh i i was doing a lot of work trying to get some pc games going because uh i i bought some new ones off of steam then (coughs) forgot to look to see if they were windows only um so I, I've been trying to shoehorn a copy of XP onto my Mac Mini. Uh, so that, 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 that's been fun. But I found my old laptop will run some of the older Tomb Raider games just fine. Hmm. So, so it, it's like my kind of OG. Uh, it's something that was also released on the PlayStation 2 will also work on this laptop. So, awesome. so that's, that was a fun discovery. All right. Uh, Riz, what have you been playing? I, too, haven't been playing much on my uh, console. Mm-hmm. I did play Marvel Avengers Alliance, Bobby, I hate you. Words with <laughs> Friends, uh, Backflip Madness, Lie Swatter, which is a game brought to you by uh, the guys who brought you You Don't Know Jack. But I've been playing oh, cool. I've been playing two games on my console, the other few minute few hours i have with it i was watching arrested development but <laughs> i've also been playing the free game uh doritos crash course 2 i downloaded it i haven't tried it yet it's okay and i have beaten battle block theater nice Jeez. and if there's any game where you have where you want to watch the ending it's battle block theater it okay the, the, this song at the end is awesome. And I know I will not sing for you. You can go on YouTube, find it, whatever. Oh, but still, on, it's I, now I've now I'm hooked on playing uh, their featured games too. Their featured levels, custom right. creation level thingies. Chachi, what have you been playing? Oh, um, <laughs> I beat uh, level four on Candy Crush. Um, Yay, wow, entire, you're so far in that game. Um, I'm on level five now. No, no, I mean, it, it, there's board levels and then there's level levels. Oh, okay. Like the entire level four I've beaten, which is oh, okay. up to uh, board 65. Oh, okay. um, so I everybody beat, had trouble with 65. Yeah, it took me two days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I moved on to... Uh, uh, level five or episode five. That's what they're called. They're called episodes, okay. um, <clears throat> which is uh, sixty six through seventy something. Um, I just started that today. I also uh, beat Call of Duty Black Ops Two campaign mode in uh, four hours yesterday. Four hours. Yeah, as everybody in solo mode does. Um, it in was any fun. Black Ops game. Um, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in Black Ops Two. Uh, I, I learned that the uh, the carrier, the aircraft carrier in the carrier level, mm-hmm. um, is the USS Obama. Whoa! Like that's the official name of it. Nice. Um, you only find that out if you play the uh, campaign mode. Mm-hmm. Wow! 
um, but yeah, that's that's the official name of that um, that level. From the chat, uh, Brother Sorg says he beat Bioshock 2's Minerva's Den DLC. Uh, he thought it was better than the main campaign. Uh, he also wow. beat Bastion. It was amazing. I don't know Bastion. Have you guys heard of this game? No. I've heard I have of it. Not. Yeah. What, 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 that, what kind of game is it? Isn't that the one like you have? Uh, you find different pieces of the world and you have to bl- build it as you go, I think? That could be interesting. And, there, and there's like a narrator that like, is uh, he talks to you through the whole game? I think. I feel like I have this from the uh, hum- humble bundle, somewhere in there. Like I, the, uh, my mass of Steam games I've accumulated. So, hmm. what about you, Bobby? What have you been playing? I bought a new game this week. Um, I bought a used game at GameStop. I know, boo, hiss, hiss. Well, um, hey, I, you know, you're only going to be able to do that for so long. So 12. I know, I know. I, I bought uh, uh, Dirt Showdown. I played that for a while. Um, I played Marvel Avengers, and I had a breakthrough this week. I got Rescue, and I bought Thor. Um, and I'm getting pretty decent at PvP. Okay. Um, and I found out from Raptor that I have a, I have logged 189 hours in this game. What? Good job, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably game? more since I looked. So. Avengers. Oh, um... I, I'm almost afraid to tell you what, <laughs> how much time I've spent playing. Oh, it uh, tells Black you right Ops, in the so. app, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, I Ops. I got rid of the app once I hit Prestige Master. There's no other reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hold on, let's wow. see. Oh boy. Um, uh, anything else, Bobby? While he's waiting. Yeah, Words with Friends, Scrabble, and I did play the challenge this week. Oh, I forgot about which, it. I'm sorry. Which was Kid Chameleon. I. You know what? You know what? I. I, 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 I it didn't get to pick Chameleon, but I did play more Mega Man 2. Oh, good. <laughs> I just found myself playing it. <laughs> and then it seems like, you're such a big kid. Like, yes. Um, 265 hours. Oh, jeez. Wow. wow. <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. Black Ops 2. <laughs> yes, you should, because it's Avengers Alliance. <laughs> yes. I know, I should feel bad. I, I, it's a Facebook I, game. I put my time in Black game. Ops 2, uh, unlocking Diamond Camo in Prestige Master. Yeah, what do you, uh, you have? Iron Man? I got Thor or, and Iron Man Mark 30. This game isn't, like, armor. even 3D. I know, but it's fun. Oh, my God. You keep saying even 3D, man. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's not even realistic. No, I don't even care. Try. It's fun. You know what? I mean, you know, can I get you, like, the Avengers Connect game? Would that, like, at least upgrade you? There's a wrench to the Connect game. Yeah. I'm too, I'm too fat for that game. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let's bring it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm out of shape. No. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, anyways, I played Kid Chameleon, um, or as I like to call it, uh, Middle-Aged Man Chameleon, because um, he doesn't look like a kid to me. It looks like Nicolas Cage going out for Halloween. A chippy version of Nicolas Cage. <laughs> the, the cover is so... With sunglasses on? Yeah, the, the cover itself, it's so, like, weird. Because they call it Kid Chameleon, and he does not look like a kid at all. No. He looks like an, like you said, an adult. And guess what, guys? It doesn't hold up. No. <laughs> it it I was don't... amazingly terrible. I disagree. Really? You disagree? Really? I disagree. I I liked it as a well. I hate. I actually hated it as a kid because I couldn't really? get by like the first level. And after first level. after I've played it in my twenty four hour gameathon, mm-hmm. I grew fond of it because I almost beat it. And then you died. do crazy things at three in the morning when you've had little to no sleep. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but still, it was a it, it, it was a good game. I like it. I mean, I, I don't have it anymore because I took, I, I just got rid of it. But the the time that I played with it was enjoyable. Yeah. And okay. you, sir, are a liar. I disagree. But um, basically, the gist of the game is kind of like Mario Brothers. Um, you get different suits you can wear. He has a knight it's, suit. He has <clears throat> a, a samurai suit, and one with like a rhino helmet. That you charge and yeah. like, ram things with, and I, that's all the further I got. I got stuck. There was also a. There was also a Hellraiser one. Or really? Hellraiser, yeah. Where you like ride a motorcycle, and you have a skull for a head. <laughs> See, a kid don't would not ride a motorcycle. He's middle aged man chameleon. 
But he, if he puts Nicolas on a Cage. mask, have you ever watched The Mask and Son of the Mask? No, not The Son of the Mask. The Mask, yes. Yeah. He, he Does he have all that stuff? No. No. Does the dog have all that stuff? No. What's the relevance of this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, it was a terrible game and you should not play it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> If I had the game, I would play it right now. Uh, Riz. Riz. Apology accepted. Right. <laughs> Moving on to the next segment, which is things you should be made aware of. Things you should be made aware of. This week we have Loot Crate, which is not our sponsor, but we love it so much that all of us have subscribed to it. And we're going to do a group unboxing. Yay! Even though we've already Yay. opened so, uh, what was your favorite thing in this week, this month's box, guys? Um, found it. I found it. <laughs> All right. It's my clock. It's your clock with <laughs> eyeballs on it. Uh, and and mouth. clocky. I, I have to say the bow tie. Yeah, um, by far. Slick. I randomly take the bow tie and uh, and put it on while I'm in hangout with the guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, and it's hard to make out even in a normal picture, um, mm -hmm. but it's a uh, little Space Invader, guys. Yeah, yeah. it's very fitting mm -hmm. because that's the logo of our site. Right. There you go. Um, right. But I actually wore this on Thursday to uh, Fuzzy's uh, <laughs> rehearsal dinner. That's um, right. Uh, congratulations to Fuzzwad, who got married on Friday. Yay, mm -hmm. Fuzz. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I wore, th I broke in the, uh, the, the bow tie then. There it is. It was very Doctor Who looking. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite thing was the uh, Don't Panic Towel, which we got uh, because of Hitchh Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, that's it, that's it, it coming is, to um, team with me. I think there was something, uh, an anniversary for Hitchhiker's Guide. That's why they gave us the towels. This nice. Month. Nice. So. Uh, I already ate all of my uh, uh, coin candy. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't, now, now I haven't tried it yet. So that's what I'm munching on when I'm in hangout with you guys. Uh, I have the, uh, the. I finally learned how to open the arcade cabinet candy <laughs> um, correctly. Like, what, two months ago? Yeah. Uh, it turns out that the bottom pops off oh. um, extremely easily. Oh, They're like instructions okay. or something, right? Yeah. Um, and so I, I went ahead and I threw that candy in with the uh, question mark candy. Uh, so is it more easily accessible? So now I have uh, the the question mark so, uh, box full of candy. So now I'm I'm trying to figure out like you know what what should I keep in there? So I actually already had one of these. Oh really? Yeah, I, I already had one because I bought one like I forget where I bought it at, at but I, I had to have one at work. Um, I put paper clips in it. That makes sense. That makes and, sense. And it works perfectly for paper clips. Nice. I don't so use paper Do so. you have a paper clip? No, I have now I have another one. I don't know what to do with it. I uh <laughs> was gonna use it to uh keep like ibuprofen in. <laughs> that's that's not a bad idea. Um, Unmarked my ibuprofen. But uh don't then I decided it. that that would be a bad idea in case like a kid wanders by and picks it up yeah. and there's like, ooh, candy. Ooh. Ooh, a piece of candy. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to do it, keep it out of the reach of children. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for a child overdosing on excedrin migraine or ibuprofen or the uh, the pain medicine of your choice. Hey, you got any of them special coins? <laughs> <laughs> but now I know why uh, Mario uh, likes those coins so much. Because they yeah. taste like strawberry. They do. They do. Right, Which and, is um, weird because the coins are yellow. What yeah, figure did kinda... you guys get? What, what? What? What figure did you guys get? Figure? Yeah, I got Batman. Oh yeah, I got uh, I got Green Lantern. I got Green oh, Lantern. Got... Oh, did I you? got Batman too. I got Batman. We're so gonna punching, fight. Punching Batman. And, and I'm not really mad that I got Green Lantern, um, but given the choices, I would have wa wanted uh, Joker or Batman. Well, there yeah. were like because I have iterations of Batman. Yeah, because I mean I have. Uh, a Green Lantern figure. Mm -hmm. um, he's a little bit bigger than this, and I haven't taken him out of the package yet. But mm -hmm. um, this one, it'll it'll join the rest of my loot crate toys um, on my desk at work. Nice. 
And, and that's the greatest thing. Like, I, this isn't, like, this is definitely not a, a collection of things I would have endeavored to get on my own. Yeah, exactly. You know, I had that, that sense of, like, well, it's not something I would have gotten, but... And as we were mentioning Awesome Cast. I, there, there was a subscription in there as well. I, I did download the uh, the Nintendo, pure Nintendo magazine. That's included. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't get that yet. It's weird because you download a PDF, so I had to go in like iBooks and all that kind of stuff, and like really? and transfer it over. It it, it it says like an Apple App Store logo, but you you don't actually download it on the App Store. Uh, they just send you a link and you download the PDF. Um, it's 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 kind of rough. There was a couple of interesting articles in there because they had some like retro Nintendo stuff that was kind of fun. Nintendo, but yeah, it's Nintendo. It's a magazine. Everything's old news. I guess that's it, what it's written. Uh, I mean, there is some mentions of other stuff, but like it's it's it, probably from the nineteen ninety Nintendo Power. There's there's an article about social media and video games. It's very wow. rudimentary, and I just uh, I, I'm just it was just a rough read all around. Is that what took place of Nintendo Power? Do we know? Well, I think I I don't know. I don't think officially, but I think mm-hmm. it's somebody trying to fill that gap. Is what it God. feels like. Um, failing miserably. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, you go. Um, it, like all the all the writers or we heads and everything like that. It's just it's it's. I do don't they, know. Do they, it, do they it, ask for credit information before, so they automatically renew it, or? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, that's you, you just uh, that's you good. go to the site, you plug in the code on the card, and and, and they say, oh, hey, you got a subscription, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, okay, that's good. Uh, but it's interesting. Something to sample. Uh, we'll see. I guess I, we have a year subscription to it, so we'll see how that goes. Like this one had like Injustice and and uh, uh, some Assassin's Creed Four stuff in it. Uh, so kind of fun to look at the pictures, but it's again, it's like kind of. I think I feel like we're beyond that at this point. Yeah, you know? I'd be interested for the 3DS stuff mainly. There felt it felt like there wasn't even much of that. You oh know? wow! Um, nothing that really stuck out. You know, I, <laughs> it was mostly Wii U stuff. So wow. So, and we also got a ninja, a clippy ninja for your uh, wires yep. around your desktop. Yep, those come in handy. Mm-hmm. So, and I think it's for your headphones. Yeah, see. Oh, really? Yeah, it's for your. This is headphones. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, oh, okay. yeah, that, that that's handy because I I my wires are always messed up. So, did you guys see the mega the mega loot crate? Yeah. Or, I, Wanted that so bad. The, uh, well, what is it? It was the Zelda Shield. The customizable. Oh, uh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Sonic uh, screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver, lightsaber. Uh, what was the other thing? There was something else that was in there, but I can't figure it out. Mm-hmm. We also got eyes and noses and mouths. Yes. Or eyes and mouths. Yeah, as you said, we saw your, your clock there, Riz. So, so that's what we're doing with that. And also, uh, as my wife put it, an Iron Hockey. Man penis. Yeah, yeah, it yes. was weird looking. Look at it. It was, it was a. It, it was a. It's a paper cutout. What, what uh, do you see? Iron Man. It's a, yeah. Paper craft. Yeah, it's paper craft. And it, it's a thing. Yeah. Like I, 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 I know, but I'm just saying. My it wife does says look like a thing. It's an Iron it Man. Does. I uh, of paper craft so far. I've made an R two D two. Um, a Triforce and a Darth Vader. Okay, wow. out of paper craft so far. Okay. Um, I haven't done the Iron Man one yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it, all it is is craftfully cutting and folding paper. Um, I'm so gonna mess this up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's basically origami. Yeah, uh, high tech origami. Is your clock gonna talk to us the rest of the night, Riz? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna leave it up here. You should Didn't at you least name it clocky. <laughs> you should at least open up the C D player and use that as the mouth. Oh. Oh. I was I talking should've. with garbage cans at Walmart the other day. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Anyways, so but like, if you're interested in that, that hit, here's so. then at lootcrate.com. Uh as Loot. usual. Loot. Crate. And again, we say not a sponsor, but a no. beloved member of our not, family. And not yeah. Luke, <laughs> to, again. To the point where we're all uh, now uh, subscribed to this as of this month. You're so. welcome. So there you go. <laughs> Thank, you're welcome, right. Luke Crib. And also, I do have an unboxing I put on my YouTube, and I'll probably do this every time I get one. Oh, uh, I didn't even think that I know, But I want to try to make them more interesting, because Chachi you need says that I sound like everybody else. I don't sound interested. 
Uh, everyone stuff. Everybody hey, sounds guys, the same. Well, yes, <laughs> hey guys, so, we got this uh, one. This is my name. It says I should it's do an unboxing. Yeah. So here I am. Hey guys. Also, I'm going to try to spruce it up. Hey guys. For next month. I got this right, one. Great. All right, guys. Um, it's been a slow news week. Everybody's gearing up for E3 coming. It has up. not been a slow news week. I thought it was a slow news week this week. Anyways, I thought it was. But anyways, um, one of the news stories I uh, picked out was um, the Last of Us series. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, a series ramping up to um, the game coming out, but it's not actually an official one. Um, but I think it was on Kotaku. They had a link to that, so you can check that out on there. It's, it was pretty good what I what I watched of it so far. Okay. Um, speaking of series, mm -hmm. um, the entire uh, consolidated Forward on to Dawn series. Um, is available on Netflix. Halo. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it, it's the Halo live-action uh, movie leading up to the game from 343. Awesome. Um, nice. And it's awesome. I watched it today. It's amazing. So and, and Now, Bobby, I know you're watching out for this uh, Last of Us coming up mm -hmm. here. I think you're the one of us that, that has a PlayStation 3. Yeah, I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> so, uh, so you're going to keep us filled in on how, how good yeah. that is. You're the one of us that's going to get the last of us. One of us. <laughs> uh, so, all right, all right, and I wrote an article for the site um, that we're going to discuss now. Um, do you are you guys worried about privacy concerns with the new Xbox? We did touch base on this briefly on Awesomecast. Chachi, I want you to give the abbreviated version of this. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what, why are... Well, first, Bobby, I think you need to set it up based on your article here. Uh, why are we concerned about privacy with the Xbox? I don't want the I don't want the Kinect to watch me playing games in my underwear, which I don't play games in my underwear, but if I did, that'd be kind of a... Hypothetically, if I was a naked... Hypothetically, if I was a naked Kinect <laughs> player... Exactly. I, I wouldn't want the Kinect to, like, be hacked. And pictures be sent of myself all around the internet. Okay. Um, like, because there there have been numerous stories about like people's laptops, cameras being hacked, and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know. I just and and then there are other reasons too. Um, like how Microsoft earlier this year, I guess, patented um, a licensing fee for um, like if you have your friends over to watch pay per view, you only have three licenses licenses to watch the pay per view, so you can only have three of your friends over to watch it. And the Kinect will count how many people are in the room with you and say, oh, you have – looks like you have five people here. You only bought three licenses. Pony up another $10 for the rest of the people to stay, you know? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that is – I and, don't know. And, of course, this is a bigger issue, I think, uh, beyond gaming. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but this exactly. idea that if you're getting the Xbox One – you're putting a camera in your living room, in your mm -hmm. bedroom, wherever. And actually, you know, how many people have this in their bedroom? You know, you got to yep. think like this thing is like Chachi's had this experience with the current connect. You know, this thing is watching me while it's while I'm <laughs> sleeping, you know, uh, yeah. but it really could be watching. Now, now the word is that that most of this content of what it's capturing does not actually go out on the Internet. It's being processed internally by the Xbox, uh, you know, looking for stuff like you want to say Xbox on it and, it and it comes up or you do a hand motion and something happens. It's just always monitoring, not necessarily recording in any fashion. Yeah. Uh, but, but will they sell to advertisers information about you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it, it, the, the connect can sense how you feel. <laughs> like it can tell, it can tell if you're if you're like happy, if you're sad, if you if you're like not paying attention to an advertisement that's on the screen. It was purposeful. Like it's gonna be able to tell that. <laughs> okay. Bobby, stop. What? I'm serious. Stop. Here's what I want you to do. If okay. you're worried about privacy, mm -hmm. I want you to go get a cardboard box right now. Well, I already have one. Okay. And what I want you to do, what I want you to do is I want you to put your current Xbox, I want you to put your 3DS, I want you to put your cell phone, and I want you to put yeah, your cable box, your laptop, your desktop, every piece of consumer electronics that you have in your house into mm. that cardboard box and ship it to me. That's true. You're walking around. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're walking around with a device in your pocket that has a microphone that could be turned on at any, any point. I, a microphone, a camera, article. and GPS. Yeah, I, they I know the accurately where you say. are at all times. Yep. Oh, also, um, if you if you have a banking account, I'll, you can throw your debit card and PIN number into that box as well. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll ship it to you this week. It'll be your loot crate for this, sweet. For this month. <laughs> um, same thing. Same thing with anyone else that has an issue with uh, privacy in this century. It is the point where we we trust these. You know, or do you? Do you trust? You know, how many people say, ah, I don't know if I trust Facebook with my stuff. Oh, I don't know if I trust Google with all my stuff to do all this stuff. It, it, well, you do or you don't, you know? Yeah. Uh, you signed up for Microsoft's, uh, you know, Xbox Live. You're yeah. giving information there. Or you're doing whatever else with Xbox. You know, I mean, you, you have to have an account to sign into Windows 8 these days. Uh, you're you're giving that up, you know? And that's, what are the trade-offs, you know? And typically yeah. something like this, uh, uh, you know, we give so much to Google for all these free services, including the Google Plus that we're have you guys on video right now, uh, Gmail, uh, Drive, stuff like that. They are scanning our data, but with that understanding that they're only using that, they're only uh, using that information of reading my email, which is business and personal, to serve me ads. Mm-hmm. But the idea is we're doing this, we're connecting the dots, but we've anonymized the data, we've done this. Now Microsoft has to be a good parent mm-hmm. and say, okay, we understand, you know, we are taking this information in, it's a camera in your living room, but we have to be very clear to say, no, we're not receiving that information, or if we are, we will let you know. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said in, in the article too, I don't think this is going to be a bad thing necessarily. No. Like there's a lot of great things they're going to be able to do with the connect. Like I, I think watching TV is going to change monumentally with this because they're like, if you think about it, reality TV shows, you can vote for who you want to kick off the show from your living room. You could win prizes from your living room, like in game shows and stuff like that. Could you say that it's a new way to watch TV? It's a new way to watch TV, not watch wrestlers watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another show, Bobby. Yes, That's for the other sorry, show, sorry, I let him into it, but it All was right. just it was too yeah, it did. was, it was too right there. <laughs> All right, well it's time for a boss battle this week. All right. Um with E three coming up next week, what are your hopes and dreams for to be revealed at E three? Give me a reason to buy a new console. Because Nintendo didn't do it last year. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not mad at there being new consoles, but I need that reason. Intent. Xbox is winning so far, but I don't have the entire puzzle. So, mm-hmm. blow me away, and and do it while Apple is doing the same thing on the other channel because they're both at the same time. Mm. How did that happen? Apple is smart. I don't, well, I don't know if it's what e, where an E3 is. I'm not well, sure if it's very smart because. Well, They're, everybody's going to be buzzing about technology. And yeah, stuff, so yeah, and plus well. we did already like we already have been revealed the console, so this is just you know extra stuff at this point. I mean, yeah. that's why they did it. Who knows? Um, so eh, it's just going to be hard to kind of cover all of it, you know, or follow all of it. I guess yeah. so. I think this is where Microsoft's going to unveil all their games and have the internet collectively shut up about not yes. having enough games. <laughs> and they're going to have to reveal a lot of stuff. They, they're, they're, they, they, need, are. they need to put out details on all the stuff that we have questions about, like the <laughs> used game thing. It's it's not – Microsoft is not stupid. That event that they had was not for the ga- core gamers. No. It was to get new people into the console. It's for the press. For, yeah, exactly. It, it, they're, if They said they're going to reveal more games at E3. And I think their E3 presentation is going to be solely focused on games. Yeah. False. Yes. Now False. that they got the hardware out of the way, they're going to talk about games. Yes. No, they may touch still... on a little bit of hardware, but yeah. What's up? Jachi? It, they're still going to talk about the Xbox 360. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. They're yeah. still going to talk about the 360 because 360 they, is not done yet. they announced that there is going to be what? They're predicting projecting 25 million more copies to be sold of the Xbox 360 in the oh, next yeah. five years. In and, the next five years, and there's they are they're always at this point, you know, where now granted when they went Xbox to Xbox 360, there was a very hard line of well, we're done with that, but not many of you, many of you guys bought it anyway, so we're going to go all in here. You know, it's not like Sony that has how many millions of PlayStation 2s when they went to the next generation. Mm-hmm. There's always that 
hey, we're not done with the PlayStation 2, so here we have this stuff coming up. That's exactly what you're going to have now. Let's see how Xbox handles having a successful one. Uh, what would we say? We were talking earlier, the projection that Xbox 360 is uh, still going to be supported for the next five years, which is right mm -hmm. in line with what Sony's been doing with the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. They have something. There are how many of those out there that we're all at least watching Netflix on, <laughs> you know, to support that and at least keep those new services up there. There are certain things that you will stop just so they can make you buy that new Xbox. But still, mm. this is a platform at this point, guys. This is more than gaming. This is like your computer, yeah. your Windows computer is in the living room, and they're going to harness that for as long as they can with that box. Mm -hmm. And still sell buttload. Mm. So, I mean, I mean, you know, all your stuff's going in the bargain bin, so this is the perfect time for anybody who wants to be like, well, there's all those games I've heard about the last 10 years. You know, pick them up for cheap and get your game on. You know? Okay. All right. Um, one word answer. That's a cool tagline. Uh, um, what was that? That was a cool tagline, Sorg. Yeah. That was, uh, that was always my philosophy uh, with, with the video game. Super Nintendo. Oh, the next what guy's coming out. On. Time to go get my Super Nintendo and bunch of, get a bunch of used copies. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's usually up until like maybe around the PlayStation 2. That's how I bought video games. So. All right. Uh, one word answers. Mm -hmm. what, game, what game are you looking forward to being revealed? Wait. Known or unknown? Wait. Hmm. Did you, did you skip me? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, no, you, no, you, no, I didn't know you had anything. It was an open discussion. No one got skipped. Yeah, yeah. We're not oh. going around. So, Konami's going to top itself. Okay. Okay. Remember the E3 pre-show? <laughs> With the. Is it going to be quite as weird? It's going to be weirder. Oh no! <laughs> uh, well, Alexander. They do have the Phantom Pain coming up, so that's going to be. Alexander Cars in the chat room said they sure hope they talk about games uh, talking about yeah. Microsoft so I can get all my Sony fanboy friends off my back. Yeah. Um, to which I responded, ask them what their new console looks like. <laughs> and also Microsoft Studios is, is, is introducing a return. And um, just so you know, Microsoft Studios does have rare... rare. Oh. Rare hasn't so, done crap in so long. Yeah, I know. Banjo Kazooie can come out. Killer uh, Instinct. Primal, Killer Instinct. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, Conquer. Mm -hmm. Conquer. Any of those games, yeah. I want a new one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want a rehash of the old one either. Or right. nuts and bolts. My hope so for ahead. E3 is the, for Nintendo to show off new high definition Zelda. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. That can, that piqued my interest. That's for sure. Yep, it's not gonna happen. What about you, Chach? Uh, what I want from E3 is to have uh, Nintendo announce that they will be um, loaning the licensing for Mario, Zelda, and Metroid to Microsoft. You want them to go? You want them to go? Wait, what? Specifically, Microsoft, or you want them to pull a Sega? No, Microsoft. Okay, interesting. Not even Apple. Nope, iPhone not even games. Apple. Wow. Okay, okay, I can see them doing that. Hmm. hmm. Because hmm. at this point, it's the only way I'm playing a new Zelda game. Yeah. 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 And that hurts Sorg. my soul. Sorg, what are you looking forward to? Um, You know, I think uh, I I'm looking out for the rise of uh, of the uh, the underdogs here. The Ouyas uh, and the, uh, the Oculus Rifts and stuff. I want to see... Um, you know these unproven technologies and see what they're going to do. Let's see what indie gaming does. Um, I think they're poised to do something really interesting. I, I I think you know Ouya of course has been getting ready for the launch, but they have to be having something. Um, I hope it doesn't rain on them out in the parking lot. I hope it doesn't rain on them out in the parking lot, <laughs> but I hope they make enough noise to make everybody kind of like, oh, what's happening over here? You yeah. know, versus the shiny IPs. You know, indie gaming is growing, and, and, and I think this is the idea. A lot of people are exposed to it now with the Xbox Live Arcades and the PlayStation. Sony especially has become a haven for indie gaming. Mm -hmm. um, so I think... And Steam and everything like that too. Uh, so I think I think Ouya is in the right position to do something very interesting on a bigger scale that I think is going to come out of left field for everybody. They're already doing it. Oh yeah! Well, Black no, no, no. Flag. There's going to be a next thing. Is what Black flag gameplay. So. They're already doing it. Well, you know, do what? They stepped up and did something that no one else has the balls to do. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Put their stuff outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where everyone can access it, not just yeah, the people going to E3. Yep. Yep. So. That's Ray, that's I've, I've heard that's Ray Romano's favorite console too. Also, oh, yeah. uh, also I can't wait to play Wii U games finally in a Best Buy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so well, that's fun. You got that you know, you know, that's, you know, I'm sorry to offshoot that, but I was, again walking through my Walmart the other day uh, when I was out <sighs> in the middle of nowhere. Why I can play the other games? Why can't I play a Wii U of the things that should be in there? Mm-hmm. At least, like, a game that just requires the gamepad or something, you know? So people understand, oh, that's it, you know? It's an entirely it's new console. It's such an abstract idea. Same with the 3DS. You can never get a 3DS in there that worked. It, it just, it, these need to be in people's hands yep. to if you want them to buy it. It's all right. It- well, um, that'll do it for us this week. Um, you can follow us on, on Twitter at at insert coin tb um visit the website uh, at www.insertcointobegin.com and the challenge this week is yoshi's cookie you guys remember that uh, one yeah uh, fun little puzzle game so all right that'll do it game over <laughs>